I this is what kit for conversion of galvanometer to ammeter. This is milliammeter galvanometer two terminals of milliammeter two terminals of galvanometer voltage zero to five volt rehosted and shunt resistance. So first of all, let's see it's working. Conversion of galvanometer to ammeter. In this the apparatus required. We need DC power supply. Okay, a galvanometer. Galvanometer. So, for this galvanometer, we have 600 microampere full scale deflection and resistance of 100 ohm. So, as we know. As we know, in galvanometer, coil is deflected at very large angle when the small amount of current is passed through it. Therefore, when the large current of the order of ampere are to be measured, they can be cannot pass that current directly through the galvanometer. As the such currents will damage it. So, for to pass the large current through the galvanometer we have to connect a shunt resistance in parallel to the galvanometer this is called shunt resistance and this full combination is called ammeter so in this way we can convert a galvanometer to the ammeter. Uh, so let, let us suppose we are passing the I current through it. I. So IG passes through this and I minus IG passes through this. So the potent potential difference, potential difference across G equals IG into G and across the shunt resistance equals I minus IG into S. So IG into G equals I minus IG into S. So value of shunt resistance. The value of shunt resistance S is given by IG I minus I. So this is the value of shunt resistance by which we can convert galvanometer to ammeter of different range. So now we have to check its practical version of conversion of galvanometer to ammeter kit. Now before performing this experiment, we have to make sure that this this knob is at its minimum position and also this variable resistance knob at the minimum position and power supply should be off. Now let's connect its circuit diagram. This is in milliammeter. We have to connect. This is the milliammeter sign. We have to connect it here and it's negative terminal to the negative terminal now galvanometer this is the galvanometer sign we have to connect it here and other point of the galvanometer this now this is the shunt resistance and there are three shunt resistance s1 s2 and s3 um, and these three shunt resistance are designed in such a way to convert the galvanometer into 100 milliampere range, 50 milliampere range, or the 150 milliampere range. First, we will connect the shunt resistance to the front S1. Okay, now connect the power supply. So this is the complete circuit diagram.
power on the supply and set the potentiometer to its middle level okay or the this s1 will convert the galvanometer into 50 milliampere range let's check see see the deflection in the see 50 milliampere and there is full deflection in the galvanometer so this galvanometer is converted into 50 milliampere a meter you have to set the load resistance in such a way that here 50 you get it to 50 and galvanometer should show its maximum deflection so now the load resistance is set so the galvanometer is converted into 50 milliampere now we have to convert the galvanometer into 100 milliampere we will use s2 and for 150 milliampere we will use s3 let's check now again here it is at the middle level now minimum now check you can see the reading in both the meter 100 at 100 it is showing its full scale deflection the galvanometer milli is converted into 100 milliampere per meter now let us calculate the reading of shunt resistance 